I'm going to move, in this session, I'm going to move from Proverbs to Ephesians. I'm going to do it by reading a few verses to you from Proverbs chapter 8. I'm going to go back to verse 17. I love all who love me. Those who search will surely find me. I have riches and honor as well as enduring wealth and justice. Who has it? Wisdom has it. Who has it? the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will always work with the Word of God like this. The Holy Spirit will never give you an instruction that isn't in the Word of God. He will never do anything that will compromise the Father or say anything against the Father or Jesus or the Word of God. So the Holy Spirit and the Word, Jesus, are always going to be completely in agreement and unity. But I Given, having said that, I want you to hear it again. I have riches and honor as well as enduring wealth and justice. I don't know about you, but I want to live my life with justice. I read further. My gifts are better than gold, even the purest gold. My wages better than sterling silver. I walk in righteousness in paths of justice. Those who love me inherit wealth. I will fill their treasuries. Here again, so many of the challenges that we face in life tend to be in two major categories. And I'm, I'm speaking very broadly here. But they tend to be either financial challenges or they tend to be relational challenges. If, if, if you could, if you wrote anything down on, the, in, on a piece of paper about three three things that you wanted solved in your life. I bet you you could broadly all move them up into, if I had more resources, my problems would be solved. And if relationships were in peace and in order and were satisfying, my problems would be solved. You could, you could just about roll everything up so much, most of things would be rolled up into those two major categories. Well, here, I mean, he's, he, he's telling us in the book of Proverbs, if you search for me, you'll find me. I love those who search for me. That's about a relationship. So if you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and you have a relationship with the Word of God, not only is that relationship you have with Him going to permeate into other relationships, but this scripture says, those who love me will inherit wealth I will fill their treasuries. That means wisdom, how to get knowledge, how to get instruction, how to have understanding, how to apply it. These things all come together and resources will come to you. That's amazing. So, I would like to read Ephesians chapter 3 to you. And uh, I'm going to just read verse 18 from the Amplified Bible. That you may have the power and be strong to apprehend and grasp with all saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth of what? His love. What is the height and breadth and length and depth of His love? Because verse 17 says, May you be rooted deep in love and founded securely on love. Now, if I go back to the book of Proverbs and I say, Those who search me will find me. And I say, to you, I love those who seek me. In recent times, certainly in our circles, we've been talking about love, which is the continuous perfect state of being. And so here in the book of Ephesians, the writer Paul says, may you be rooted deep in the continuous perfect state of being and founded securely on the continuous perfect state of being. When you find him, when you live with him, Wisdom and understanding and instruction become yours. How to live the life that he has. No wonder your treasuries will be filled. No wonder wealth will come with it. Because that's his love for us. That's his joy for us to experience him in all of his goodness. I think we don't have too much of a problem with this. And we should accept the challenge 
Let's pursue the Holy Spirit. Let's pursue wisdom and understanding. Let's pursue God. And let's have our treasuries and our relationships secure, solid, founded. And let's go, let's go for it and have a good time in God. Mm-hmm.